Hey, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's the Nasty One here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Buzzards franchise here in year number three. Last episode, we uh, defeated the unwinless Crocodons with a 3 nothing shutout. Tremondo pitched eight shutout innings and to his first victory of the season, and we got a clean ninth inning from Kendra Kerr, who nailed it down for her second save of the season. Moving on, we are moved into game number five on the season. It is against the undefeated Heaters, who are coming at 4-0. On the mound for them will be their ace left-hander, Elmo Slayer, 1-0 with a 1.69 ERA and a 150 whip. And for us, it is going to be left-hander Jude Hokey, no record, no ERA, and a 1.60 whip. Hokey in his second year is the defending rookie of the year, of course. And we come into this contest at 2-2, two and two, so... Trying to, you know, take back our spot at the top of the division. A win would tie us with the other three teams ahead of us. Here's the lineup for today's game. Locked in at second base is Demi Cardenas, the rookie. She bats leadoff. Right fielder Rolf Borgner is batting second. First baseman Joseph Trunk is batting third. Fourth, third baseman Mario Mustachio is batting cleanup. Batting fifth is center fielder Thurman Colt. Batting sixth at shortstop is Ian Fielder. Batting 7th, left fielder Buck Swiner, and batting 8th is catcher Hank Hart, facing his former team for the first time since leaving in free agency. And also batting ninth is the pitcher Hokey. Let's get it on. Alrighty, on the road again as we are going to Red Rock Park here. This is going to be the only time we see Red Rock Park unless we face the Heaters again in the playoffs or we go and face the Hot Corners in the playoffs. It's the only two teams that have Red Rock Park as a home stadium, last I checked. Whew. Let's see if we can get around their pitching, because outside of their starting pitching, it doesn't look like the Heaters have a lot going for them. I mean, their defense is solid, so is their bullpen. Speed is a little bit at average, and then their offense is really below average, so they don't have a lot going for them. Outside of their starting pitching, but they have made it to 4-0 for a reason. Let's see if we can... Uh, break their winning streak here as Cardenas, Borgner, and Trunk are due up first here against Slayer. Cardenas leads off. Rookies locked in at second base, hitting 438. Two homers, six RBIs on the year. Take a quick peek here at Slayer's numbers. 1-0. He got the win in his first start. 1-6-9 ERA and a 150 whip. He gave up one earned run, five and a third innings. He gave up six hits, two walks, one hit a homer, and he struck out three batters. Batting average against 286 on the season. Hey, one boy, how's it going? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? Cardenas ready? Here we go. Heater inside, a strike. Going one. Swung through a fork ball at the knees. 0 and 2. Activates for Slayer already. And he blows her away with the fastball. Strike three. I think that's going to be a lot in our futures today. One down, and that'll bring up Bordner, right fielder, hitting 412. Two RBIs on the season for Rolf. Curveball in there for a strike at the letters, 0 and 1. Fastball inside, ground up the middle, diving Maggie Rags to her right to make the stop. Second baseman makes the play, two down. That is going to bring up Joseph Trunk, the first baseman, hitting 462 with an RBI so far this year. Hit her high, ball one. Slider is low, 2 and 0. Fastball up and away, foul off by Trunk, 2 and 1. Chase the change of outside, 2 2 the count. K man active now for Slayer. Outside check swing on the slider. Good take to Trunk. Uh, change of foul off. Still a full count. Chase the curveball in the dirt. Still a full count as Trunk making him throw a lot of pitches here. Curveball. Another foul ball. Trunk fighting up. Slider breaks the bat finally as it's grounded the second. Rags the first. Easy 1-2-3 inning for Slayer, although Trunk did make him throw 10 pitches that at bat, so good way to raise the pitch count. Bottom one, we're scoreless. Sosa, Big B, and Slam do up against Hokey. Leading off rookie catcher Finley Sosa, replacing Hank Hart, who is there behind the dish for us. 267 average, one homer, one RBI for the rookie. Here's a look at Hokey's numbers from his first start. Hokey got a no decision on opening day when he threw five shutout innings. 160 whip, he uh, gave up five hits, three walks, and he struck out six batters in that game. We ended up did losing that, however, as the bullpen couldn't hold the lead. 263 average for Hokey on the season, batting average against anyway. And here is the lineup for the Heaters. After Sosa, it is first baseman Helena Bigsby. 
former Buzzards player in her second year with the Heaters. Batting third and on fire is right fielder Jackie Slam. Batting fourth and locked in is former Hot Corners third baseman Bobby Bash in his first year with the Heaters. Batting fifth is left fielder Rays Rufo. Batting sixth center fielder Volt Bolter. He is locked in as well. Batting seventh new addition shortstop Elijah Gobelson coming over from the Moon Stars first year with the Heaters. Batting eighth is second baseman Maggie Rags, and batting ninth is the pitcher Slayer. First pitch from Hokies, a fastball high, ball one. Curveball down and in, that's inside, 2-0. and Yeah, they somehow signed Slam and free agency with all their money. Surprised the hell out of me, too. <laughs> Slider fouled off there by Sosa, 2-1. and one. Last bump it in, chased it, 2-2. Two and two. Came in active for Hokey here. Change it down, foul off. Slider away, chased it outside, strike three. First punch up for Hokey today as the A- minus came in, gets it done. Next up is Big B. First baseman has power for his left-hander active, hitting 353 with two RBIs on the season. One with Buzzard's product for a ball in the dirt, ball one. It's fastball down in the way. It's fouled off. One and one. Bigsby, of course, released halfway through year one for rookie Sage Spiesel, who's no longer on the team either. Uh, she was ended up picked up by the Heaters in year two, and that hanging changeup is crushed to left center field. That is a home run, and Bigsby gets revenge on the old team as that is a solo home run. Bigsby uses her power trait to great effect as that gives the Heaters a lead on her first homer of the season. It is one to nothing. That changeup hung, and he knew it. Now to bring up the on-fire right fielder, Jackie Slam, hitting 529. One homer, four RBIs, and Hokies now tense. Changeup down at the knees in their first strike, going one. That's bumping away, fouled off, 0-2 the count. Tough out and K-Man activate here. Let's see which one wins the battle. Curveball down and away is in the dirt. Good take, one and two. Slider down and in. That is fouled off. Slam stays alive. That's ball up and in. Sky ball to left field. That's going to be an easy one for Swiner. He's already under it, and he'll make the catch. Two down. Now to bring up third baseman Bob. Former hot corner player in his first year with the Heaters. Locked in hitting 375. One homer, seven RBIs. Good thing for Bash. He went from a team that plays in this ballpark to another team that plays in this ballpark, so he did not have to adjust his play style. Fastball inside, check swing strike, 0 and 1. Triple down in the way, called a strike, 0 and 2. Slider up and away, outside, check swing, good take, 1 and 2. Change it down and in, check swing in the dirt, 2 and 2. Fastball up and in, fools him, swung through it, strike 3, 102 on the gun. Hokey has his second punch out, and that ends the inning. But the Heaters get the lead on the home run by Bigsby, the former Buzzards first baseman. To the second, we are down one to nothing. Mustachio, Colton, Fielder, do up. Tough scenes to start it here. Yeah, that would be nice. It's a lot of work, but maybe with the money with EA, they might actually do that and give everybody their own ballpark. That would be swell. Leading off for us this inning is third baseman Mario Mustachio, 077 average with an RBI on the air. Mario not hitting the ball very well this season, but he's out there trying, and that's what matters. Slider outside misses, ball one. Slider's in there for a strike up and in, 1-1 one, one from Slayer. Aye, right, good eye, 2-1. and one. Fastball up, line through the mills, it whizzes by Slayer's right ear. Base hit for Mustachio, he's on the lead off the inning with our first hit. It off man on, and that'll bring up Thurman Colt. Center fielder hitting 438. One RBI on the season for Thurman. Runner goes on the first pitch. Fastball's in there inside. Throw down is low and dropped. Stolen base for Mustachio. That is his first of the year. He is one for one, as he hasn't been on base very many times to actually be able to steal. So good for him. 1 0 the count to Colt. Pitch out. Nothing doing as they thought he was going to steal third. 2 0 the count to Colt. Fastball up, line to right center field. That is down for a base hit. Slam's got a good arm, and Mustache's got good speed. Who's going to win? It is a uh, Slam's arm. One out. Unlucky. Next up, the infielder, the shortstop, hitting 313 with an RBI. 
Colt takes off on the first pitch. It's a pitch out, though. Throw down by Sosa. Just in time, and Colt is nailed to the wall. Colt's second failed attempt this season. He's now one for three. 1-0 one -oh count here to Fielder with the bases empty and two down. Change up now inside from Slayer. 2-0 and oh the count. That is true. That is the main goal. We do hope EA does not kill the series. I really hope they don't. They've killed FIFA. They've killed Madden. I'm pretty sure they could kill some something else. Strike at the knees. 2-1. and one. Curveball inside. Popped up. Left field and shallow. In on it. Rufo. And he will put it away in that ends the inning. Base running will kill the buzzards here this inning as we almost scored our first run, but it was thrown out at the plate. Then our second runner was picked off trying to steal second. Bottom two, where would down one to nothing. Rufo, Bolter, and Gobbleson two up. Yes, all we can do is pray and hope that is true. At least we can say EA did not kill Call of Duty. That was done for us already. <laughs> Rufo do up first, left fielder hitting 333. Fastball down the middle, fouled off 0-1. Throw ball down and away, in the dirt, 1-1. Change up inside, fouled off, 1-2. and two. Better up and away. Turned on by Rufo, he cracks that to right field. He got all of that one, folks. It is gone. Home run for Rufo, his first of the year, and that makes it a 2-0 game as the Heaters have won in each inning so far. <coughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, I try. <laughs> Hokey now tense once more. Is that will bring up Volt Bolter? 429 average, one RBI in the season. He is locked in currently. Slider up and in, inside ball one. Though, to be fair, EA did kill Battlefield, so... Eh, it evens out, I guess. Fast, but down in the way, it's fouled off. One and one. Over down and in, low in the dirt. Two and one. Outside, grounded the first right there to Trunk, and that's the first out. Mm-hmm, that is true. I agree with that statement. Slam is the one. That throw out was the killer. Next up for the heaters, shortstop Elijah Gobbleson, 118 average with three RBIs on the season. Fastball well at the knees, line to short, right at fielder, two down. Next up, Maggie Rags, second baseman batting eighth today, hitting 353. Two RBIs on the season for Maggie. Which curve ball away is outside, ball one. Slider inside, misses, 2 and 0. Change up up, Rags swings through it, 2 and 1. She was out in front. Fastball down and in, low, 3 and 1. Ball down at the knees in there for a strike this time. Full count. Last ball up and in. Swung through it. Strike three. Third punch up for Hokey, and that ends the inning. But another home run for the Heaters as Ray's Rufo goes yard this time on a high slider to the third. It is two to nothing. Swiner, Hart, and Hokey do up against Slayer. Here is Buck Swiner, left fielder batting seventh today, hitting 231 on the season. Last ball high. Ball one. Fastball up and in a strike this time, one and one. Fastball up, Swiner lines it to left field over the diving third baseman, that's a base hit. Swiner on the lead off the inning. And that is gonna bring up the eight hitter today, Hank Hart, catcher hitting a buck 82 with an RBI on the season. Facing his old club, the Heaters, for the first time. He Hart spent his first two years here as the uh, primary backstop before coming over to us in free agency. Bad jumps active for Swiner over there at first, so he won't be running as that strike is in there at the letters on the heater, 0-1-1. Fastball up, line to left field, and that's through for a base hit as Hart gets a base hit off his old battery mate Slayer. First and second now with none down, and that'll bring up Hokey with the pitcher will be bunting the runners over here. Infield in the bunt defense. Hokey gets the bunt down. Throw to first, the sacrifice works. One out, two on in scoring position for Cardenas. Unfortunately, who was RBI dodge, he's 0-1. Uh, she did manage to fight through it last game to get an RBI in. Let's see if she can do it here. Fastball outside, ball one. Cardenas did strike out swinging the first time up against Slayer. Fastball up and in, lined up the middle. In through a base hit, and that's going to get at least one home. 
Second runner is going to hold it third as we learned our mistake. Bolter has a cannon. RBI for Cardenas. It's now 2-1. to one. Runners at the corners now for Borgner. He's 0 for 1. Strike up and in on the heater. Slayer's now 10, so and 1. Slider up and away. Borgner fouls it off on the left side out of play into the seats, so and 2. Came in active for Slayer here. Chase the fastball out of the way. Two strikeouts now for Slayer today. Two down in the inning. And that is going to bring up Joseph Trunk, who's 0 for 1. He grounded out his first time up, but not before fighting for a 10-pitch battle. Change of away is fouled off, 0 and 1. Work ball in the dirt, 1 and 1. Curveball down and in, pulled foul, 1 and 2, the count to Trunk. Fastball up and in line to short, right at Gobbleson, and that will end the inning. But the Buzzards on the board with the RBI single from Cardenas as she extends her team lead in RBIs to seven. Bottom two, bottom three we go. We're down two to one. Slayer, Sosa, and Bigsby do up against Hokey. <laughs> That's funny. Buck Swiner got thrown out by Jermaine Reigns. Oh, God, I can picture that, and that is funny. The only thing that could have been worse is if it was Samuel Perez of the Buzzards. Uh, not the Buzzards, the Overdogs. If Samuel Perez throws out Buck Swiner with bad jumps, you know that trade is absolutely killer. Leading off the inning in the third for the Heaters is going to be Elmo Slater, the pitcher. 333 average on the year for Elmo. Fastball in there for a strike. Going one. Slider down. Fouled off. 0-2. Change up down in the way. Check swing low. Good eye there from Slayer. One and two. Curveball up and in. Swung through it. Strike three. Fourth punch up for Jude today. One down, and that's going to bring up Sosa for one. Sosa struck out swinging his first time up. Curveball hangs. Is called a strike. Thankfully, he wasn't swinging. 0 and 1. Fastball up. That's lined up the middle. Base hit for Sosa, and that's through for in the left center. First hit for Finley. One for two day for Sosa now. That is going to bring up Helena Bixby who homered her first time up on a hanging changeup. One for one today with the RBI. First pitch fastball down in the way. Low ball one. Changeup up and in. Bixby fouls it back. One and one. Slider up. Pop foul on the hit and run. Out of play. One and two. <laughs> you sometimes the game just says hey uh, we need something incredulous to happen right here I know let's throw him out curveball hangs to Bigsby line to center field the Colt coming on slides into his glove it goes on a hop first and second now with one down and that will bring up Jackie Slam popped out her first time up she's over one currently locked in this was fastball away just chased it outside 0-1 about down and then is inside one on one. That up and away. Slam takes a check swing strike called one and two. Tough out activates for Slam. Change bumping in. Way out in front of it. Strike three. Fifth punch up for Hokey today. Two down in the inning. That's going to bring up Bobby Bash over one. Bash struck out swinging his first time up on a high fastball. Just change it down and in. Out in front of it on the swing. Zero and one. Bash popping away. High, one and one. Slider up and in. Bash swings through it. One and two. Come down and away. In the dirt. Two and two. Good take. Bash down and in. Chased it. Fouled off. Still two and two. Jump up and away. Driven by Bash to right center field. He got off it, it off the end of the bat, though. Colt there forward in the gap, and that ends the inning as uh, Hokey puts up a zero for the first time today. To the fourth, it's still two to one. Mustachio, Colt, and Fielder do up. Mustachio leads off. He's one for one today with a single and a stolen base, and almost thrown out trying to score on Colt's single in the second inning. Curveball hangs on the first pitch. Mustachio drives it left center field. He got a lot of it. Back to the wall it goes. Looking up, it is in the nest. 
home run for Mario Mustachio as he hits it off the first deck face into the heater's bullpen. First homer of the year for Mario. It's also his first multi-hit game of the season. We're tied at two. Now to bring up Thurman Colt. Center fielder one for one today with a single. And then he was thrown out trying to steal second base. Slider inside misses from the 10th slayer. Ball one. Slider away. Pulled foul. Out of reach of the diving bash. One and one. What about that? And then it's fouled off. One and two. Slider up and in. Colt drives at the left field, but he didn't get a good piece of it. It goes right to Rufo. One down. Next up, Ian Fielder. Flew out to left field his first time up. He's 0 for 1. Change of blow. Ball 1. Change of at the knees. Pulled foul. 1 and 1 the count. Change of rip. Foul again. 1 and 2 the count. Work ball at the knees. Fielder bloops at left center field over the leaping shortstop. Gobbleson, that is a base hit. First hit for Ian today. He's one for two as that puts him on with one down. Very true, very true. I agree with that statement. <laughs> Next up, Buck Swiner. One for one today with a single. I think either of those two parks, that's not a home run. Tiger Den, easy home run. Founders Field, debatable, probably warning track power. Uh, Emerald Diamond, also probably warning track power. Might hit off the high wall out there. Uh, Big Sky, that's probably a home run. Uh, who else? Uh, Lafayette Corner, that's definitely a home run. Uh, what else? What other, what field am I forgetting? Motor Yard, warning track power for sure. <laughs> I, not too many parks that would have gone out of. Fastball in there for a strike to Swiner, 0-1. Just under a high fastball, 0-2. Ooh, good take. That was high, 1-2. and two. Fastball at the knees, line through the middle, and Swiner has his second hit today. He's 2-2 two for two. Buck starting off hot tonight. Nice. Hard up next, 1-1 one one with the single. Jackman, 4 homers, 4-5 for five day, and a 12 RBIs. Love to see it. Poor Sirloins. They did not know what was coming. <laughs> you can't pitch to him right now. He's inhuman. All right, ready? Here we go. Fastball high from Slayer. Ball one. Change up in there. One and one. Fastball pulled foul by Hart. One and two the count. Fastball put in. Blooper to short. Right at Gobbleson for the second out. Now to bring up Hokey. Sack Bun his first time up. Uh, no hits on the season for Jude as he's got a two-out RBI chance. Let's see what he can do. Maybe he gets a hit. Fastball up and away. He bloops that to left, but Rufo was drawn in, and he'll make the easy catch on the liner. That ends the inning. We do get a run, though, on the solo home run by Mario Mustachio as we're tied two to the bottom of the fourth. Rufo, Bolter, and Gobbleson do up against Hokey. Rufo leading off, hit a solo home run his last time up as he pulled one in the right field seats on a high slider from Hokey. We're going to get another hit here. First pitch to him, a curveball away. Strike at the knees, 0-1. Passable down and in, lined in the hole to Sprite. That's a base hit. Rufo 2 for 2 today as he's on to lead off the inning and he's got good wheels. Next up is Bolter, 0 for 1. Probably won't try to steal on his old teammate Hart as he knows how good of an arm he has. First pitch change up, up and in. Bunt shown and pulled back by Bolter. Oh, well, 1 0. Pass up and in. Breaks his bat, but it's fouled off out of play. 1 1. Slider up and away. High. 2 and 1. Go down and in. Bunt shown and pulled back. 3 and 1. That's put down in the way. Bunt is down for Bolter. That's going to be a successful sacrifice. Hart to first. One down is Rufo's at second here for Gobbleson, who's over one. Pitch curveball up and in is inside. Ball one. That's put down in the way. Check swing strike at the knees. One on one. Slider down and in. Line to third. Right at Mustachio for the second out. Got to bring up Maggie Rags. 0 for 1 day for Maggie. 
fastball up and in is inside. Ball one. Good ball away. Check swing strike. One and one. Inside, line to left field. That's going to go right to Swiner, though, and that ends the inning as the heaters fail to score to the fifth. We're still tied at two. Top of the lineup do it for the buzzards. Cardenas, Borgner, and Trunk. Oh, slip Vanderwink, yep. Doubleheader lost first game five. Nothing. Jackman's like, screw it, I'm done. Goes off against Vanderwink, the lefty. Yep. Uh, it's Vanderwink. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Poor Slip. He's like one of the more effective starters in the Sirloin's pitching rotation, actually. I'm surprised you got it off of him. I mean, Manny Kays is great, but Slip Vanderweek's like number two. He should be pretty solid. To get it off of him, that's a pretty good one. Slayer leading off here against Cardenas in the fifth. Back to neutral mojo. Third ball in the dirt. Ball one. Go about down and in. Line to left. Over the leaping short. Stop base hit for Cardenas. She's now two for three. Locked in again. That'll bring up Borgner, who's 0 for 2. Curveball up and in. A strike from Slayer. 0 and 1. Fork ball's inside. 1 and 1. Fork ball at the knees. Borgner skies at the center field. He got it off the end of the bat, though. So that's going to hang up for Bolter. Easy catch for Volt. 1 down. Manny, yes, Manny can be a Manny can be a pain. He's almost as bad as Slayer, but he doesn't have any traits to his name, so he doesn't get a lot of credit for being as good as he is. He's got really great stats. They're on par with Elmo. He's just, you know, the trait puts Elmo apart from him, unfortunately. Trunk do it next, though, for one day for Trunk, because he's currently tense. Fastball inside, ball one. Over two day for Joseph, sorry. Almost outside, 2-0. Fastball at the knees. Trunk winds up but fouls it off. Two and one. A little quicker on the load there, Joseph. Slider middle in. He's going to sky that to left center field. This should be an easy catch out there for Bolter. Two down. Now he's going to try to double off the runner, but we're too far back. Next up is Mustachio. Solo home run last time up for Mario. He's locked in currently. Two for two. He's also singled and stolen a base. Fork ball at the knees, easy first sky ball to left center. Easy play for Rufo out there as he puts it away to end the inning. One hit for the buzzards, nothing else. Bottom five, Slayer, Sosa, and Bigsby do up against Hokey. There's Slayer, over one day for Elmo. Fastball up and away, strike called, 0 1. Fork ball at the knees, foul off, 1 and 0 and 2 the count. Slider down in the way. Sky ball to right center field by Slayer. Borgner coming on. Should be an easy first out. It is. Borgner makes the catch. Next up is Sosa. One for two today with the single. First with slider middle away is outside. Ball one. Fastball down and in. Inside and low. Two and oh. Change up away. Call to strike. Two and one. Fastball up and in, inside, 3 and 1. Good ball down, grounded the second right at Cardenas. Easy play for her, 2 down. Next up is Bigsby, 2 for 2 day. She singled last time up and has also hit a solo home run off Hokey. Currently locked in. First pitch fastball, middle in, strike called, 0 and 1. Good ball down and away in the dirt, ball 1. Middle in, a strike called, one and two. Slider up and away, chased it high, strike three. Six punch up for Hokey today, and that's a one, two, three inning. To the sixth, Colt, Fielder, and Swiner do up here for the Buzzards. Colt leads off, one for two today with the single. He's also been thrown out trying to steal second base. For a ball fouled off, 0 and one. Fork ball at the knees. Colt lines it to right center field. It's hooking away from Bolter, and it drops in on the dirt. One hopped into his glove. Single for Colt. He's now two for three, and that'll bring up Fielder. Ian one for two today with a single. Slayer done here after five-plus innings as that tenth hit is enough to knock him out of the game. He gives up ten hits, no walks, and two runs. One on a home run and one on an RBI single. Coming out of the bullpen to replace him is for third-year heater reliever, Dern Neverwalker, who's locked in. 
best starter to best reliever. Here's Never Walker's numbers on the air. He's 1-0. and He's got a 0 ERA and a 0 whip. Two appearances for Durr. Two innings total pitched. No runs given up. No hits. And he has struck out two batters. Batting average against right now? Zero. Let's see if Durr can keep his good pitching going. He comes in locked in here against Fielder. Strike the letter is 0-1. Fastball high, one on one. Pick off the first. They knew Colt was going on pitch three. He is picked off for the second time this game. He's now one for four on the season. Fastball high, two and one. Fastball at the knees, chopped the first. Easy play for Bigsby, two down. Next up is Swiner, two for two day for Buck. Singling twice. Strike at the knees on the heater, 0 and one. Fastball away, bloop to left center. Over the diving gobbles and another hit for Swiner. He's three for three today. Buck now locked in as he's feeling it. And that'll bring up Hart. One for two day for Hank. Slider in there at the knees. 0-1. Check swing low on the slider to Hart. 1-1. One one. Fastball down and in. Line to right center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Swiner thought about third. He's going to get back to second. <laughs> Two on and two down now, and Hokey do up. Do we pinch hit for Hokey? That is the question. Hokey on 79 pitches. He has enough in the tank for one more inning. But is it worth us dropping the scoring chance for him? That's the question. Hmm. Uh, God dang it. I'm going to have to say we need one more inning out of Hokey, so I'm going to have to let him hit. Might be a dumb idea, but that's all I got. Slider down and then chopped a second on the first pitch right to Rags, and that ends the inning as the Buzzards fail to score. Bottom six, slam, Bash, and Rufo do up against Hokey. Leading off Jackie Slam, right fielder 0 for 2 today. Still locked in, though. First pitch fastball down and in is low from Hokey, ball one. Slider up and away, outside, 2-0. Change it down and away. Grounded up the middle of the short. Fielder dives off his glove into center field. Infield single for slam. She is one for three today. Good effort by Fielder. He just couldn't secure it. And that'll bring up Bash, who's 0 for 2. Curveball down and away. Bash takes a check swing strike, going 1. Pass ball up and in, inside, 1-1. Slider down and in. Ground to the second. Cardenas to second one. Fielder back to first. Just late. Fielder's choice. One down and that'll bring up Rufo. Two for two. Single his last time up. He's also hit a solo homer. Curveball hangs. Fouled off by Rufo. And one. Into middle away. Fouled off. 0 and 2. Pass up and wait. Check swing outside. Good eye. One and two. Slider down and in. Rufo hard up the middle to second. Cardenas dives and cuts it off. Flips to second one. Fielder to first. Late another fielder's choice. Two down and that'll bring a Bolter 0 for one. Sack bunt last time up for Volt. It's also flown out. Fastball middle in. Grounded up the middle. Cardenas dives. Just passed her into center field. That's a base hit. Runner going for third. Here's the throw from Colt. It is late. Runners at the corners as Bolt is locked in. That'll bring up Gobbleson, who's 0 for 2. No pinch hitter coming. It's his at bat. Just a change up down and then is inside and low. Ball one. Fastball away. Runner goes for a strike. Throw down by Hart. Just late as Bolter does steal off his old teammate. Bolter probably one of the few runners that could actually beat out Hart's great arm. For Bolter, that is his third stolen base of the season. He is 3 for 4. 1-1 one, one the count here for Gobbleson. Well, down and away. Chopper to short. Fielder charges. Fires to first. In time. And Hokey gets out of the sixth inning as he records a quality start. To the seventh, it's 2-2. Two to two. Cardenas, Borgner, and Trunk do up. Uh, no, I actually know where that is on Reddit. I actually have that saved to my phone, so I can actually look that up whenever I want. 
Next up, Cardenas. Uh, Demi leading off the inning. Two for three today. She has singled twice and driven in a run. See how she does against Never Walker. Fastball high. Ball one. Fastball down and then blooper to right center field. And that's a base hit for Cardenas. Her third today. She is three for four. And she's on to lead off the seventh. That's the go-ahead run. <laughs> Lol, nice. Borgner due up next, 0 for 3 today in tents. We are going to pinch hit for Rolf. Coming off the bench, right fielder Carter Mahoney. Second year player getting the at bat here. He's 1 for 3 on the season with pinch hit opportunities. Let's see how he does here. Curve up and in line to third on the first pitch right at Bash. One down. Unlucky there, and that'll bring up Trunk, who's 0 for 3 today in tents. We are going to let him bat. Trunk is our captain, so he can hit himself out of this. Fastball away misses. Ball one, hopefully. Swung through a fastball at the knees. One and one. Fastball and away. Fouled out. Fouled out of play. One and two. Fastball down and in. Blooper to right field and shallow. That's going to get down in front of slam for a base hit as Cardenas goes for third and beats the throw. Trunk back to neutral. He's one for four today, and there's runners at the corners from Mustachio. Solo homer and a single earlier today. He's two for three. Flew out last time up. Fastball up and in his high. Ball one as the infield's at halfway. Looking either for the double play or the out at the plate. 1 0 pitch coming. Slider at the knees. A strike. 1 1. Fastball up and away. Mustachio cracks it. Left center field. Hits it pretty well to the corner. It is gone. In the nest of the buzzard bullpen. Second homer of the day for Mario Mustachio. First multi-homer game of the season for the Buzzards, and that breaks it open. It is 5-2 as Neverwalker makes a mistake. Now the center fielder, <laughs> Lol, nice. It's kind of what they do with the Yankee Stadium thing out there in right field on that short porch. That annoys me every time that happens. Neverwalker no longer locked in, and that'll bring up Thurman Colt. Uh, two for three today, and he's also been thrown out trying to steal second twice. Force. See how he does here against Never Walker. Pass bump it in. Swung late. 0 1. Chased it in the dirt. 0 2. Chased a curveball in the dirt. Strike three. First punch up for Never Walker. Sosa makes the play to first. Two down. Next up, fielder. 1 for 3 today with a single. Slider hangs. Line to right center. In the gap. And that's going to go. Uh, it's only going to be a single as Bolter does cut it off. That could have been extra bases had it got by him. Ian now two for four, and that extends the inning for Swiner, who is three for three today and locked in. Fastball down and then a strike called, 0 and 1. Inside heater misses, 1 and 1. Fastball at the knees, Swiner hits it off the end of the bat to right center field. That is an easy hang up for Bolter, and that ends the inning. 5-2 the score as the Buzzards get three runs on the home run by Mustachio. His second of the game, bottom seven, 8-9-1, and one, do it for the Heaters. Rags, a pinch hitter for Neverwalker, and Sosa. Hokey done here after six innings of work. Uh, uh, let's see, how many hits he gave up? He gave up seven hits and no walks. He uh, struck out six batters, and he gave up only two earned runs on two solo homers. Very solid day for Hokey as he's in line for the win on the quality start. Uh, we are going to have to double switch as the pitcher slot is due up next inning. Can anybody play center field? Let's let's think this through here real quick. I don't think anybody else can because I think Rolf was the only one who can. Colt would be the one I want to replace. But we don't have anybody who can play center field, unfortunately. That is an oversight on my part. Uh, so we're going to have to double switch for fielder here because uh, I don't want to double s or we could double switch for Swiner but uh, Buck was hitting pretty well today so I'm going to leave it go I'm going to yeah we're going to double switch here for fielder we are going to go to who's up for them actually righty switch hitter righty switch hitter pinch hitter lefty switch hitter lefty okay Hmm. We are going to go with... Go with the rookie Luther Butters here. 
And I did not double switch. Well, he's only going to pitch an inning then, and then we'll uh, pinch hit for him. Yep, so Butter's coming on. Second appearance of the season for the rookie. Luther, in his first appearance, pitched a clean inning, uh, giving up uh, no hits and striking out a batter. Batting average against right now is zero. Let's see how the rookie does as he faces the heaters. Rags being a switch hitter will now bat left-handed for the first time today and activate her contact versus right-hander trait. She's currently 0 for 2 today. Switch fastball in there, fouled off, 0 and 1. Change it down and in. That's ground to the second. Easy play for Gardenas on the charge. One down. Never Walker do up next. I expect a pinch hitter for him. And it is backup catcher Kimmy Smoke. 167 average and a three RBIs on the year for Kimmy. There's fastball down, foul off, 0 and 1. Fighter up and in, foul off, 0 and 2. Change up and away. Swung through at strike three, punch out for Butters, two down. Next up is Sosa, catcher one for three today with the single. Change up up and in on the first pitch, taken high, ball one, good eye there. Fastball away, lined in the hole to short, base hit for Sosa, he's two for four. That'll keep the inning alive with a two out base hit. That will bring up Helena Bigsby, two for three today, home run single and an RBI today for her. Unfortunately, she is now batting left-handed, so she loses her power versus left-handed trade thanks to the switch hitter. First pitch slider down and in, strike called at the knees, 0-1. Change it down and away. Grounded up the mid, lined up the middle. That's a base hit, actually. And a center runner going for third. Throw coming from Colt. Just late. Runners at the corners now for slam. She is the tying run. Jackie singled last time up. She's one for three. First pitch fastball down and in from Butters. Grounded up the middle. Past fielder. That's a base hit in the center field, and that's going to be a base hit. Earn RBI for slam. It's five to three. As the go ahead run coming to the plate in Bobby Bash. 0 for 3 today for Bobby, coming, looking to come through in the clutch against the rookie. First pitch slider down and away. Line down the left field line, it is foul. Just a bit outside. Thank God he was early on it, 0-1. Next pitch change up, up and away. Bash fouls it back, 0-2. Slider down and in in the dirt, backs him off the plate, 1-2. Fastball down in the way. Butters chops it in front of the plate. Hart to first in time, and he gets out of the jam. Good pitch in, Luther. Way to not break. That'll bring up, coming off the bench for the pinch hitter out of the bullpen, it is Burt Bergerer. Former Moonstars reliever, second year with the Heaters. As we head to the eighth, it is five to three. Hart, Butters, and Cardenas do up. Hank Hart, two for three day for the catcher against his old club, hitting pretty well. Here's a look at Bergerer's numbers on the season. Berger out of the bullpen this year has made three appearances. He has no record, a zero ERA, and a zero whip. In three innings, he's given up no hits and struck out three batters, one for each inning. Batting average against right now, zero. Yes, just foul. Solid pun. Love to hear it. <laughs> uh, he'll be face locked in coming out of the pen against Hart. He's got two, two hits today. Fastball up and away, a strike going one. Chase the fastball high, 0-2. Fastball up and in, line back to Berger, who knocks it down and picks it up to fire shift to first, one down. Good reactions from Bird as the pitcher do up next. It's Butters, we're going to pinch hit for the rookie. Coming off the bench is going to be... Back up middle infielder, Nathaniel Hurls, who has power as right-hander, still hitless on the year, still looking for his first hit off the bench. Curveball's inside from Berger, ball one. Fastball up, chased it high, one and one. Fastball at the knees, hurls, cracks at left center field, hits it pretty well, going back, Bolter to the wall, to the warning track. It's off the fence, just missing a home run by inches. It's a double for Hurls, his first hit of the season. Attaboy, number second sophomore player. That puts him in scoring position, though, and that means Cardenas will have RBI dot activate again. She's three for four today with three singles, but her RBI did come when she had RBI dot active, so not really a detriment for the locked-in Cardenas. Let's see if the rookie can make it happen. I have no answers for you, man. Curveball in the dirt, ball one. Curveball hangs, lined at the middle, past the base, second baseman into center. 
Pearls does not run well, so we'll hold it third. Runners at the corners now as Cardenas is four for five today. Not bad. Now to bring up Mahoney with the RBI chance. Right fielder lined out the third base his first time up. He's 0 for 1. Infield in here. Fastball high. Ball 1. They don't care about the double play. They want the out at the plate. Fastball up. Mahoney lines it right at Rags. They're going to get the out, <laughs> out at second is despite the drop by Gobbleson. But that allows Mahoney to reach on the fielder's choice. Runners at the corners now for Trunk. 1 for 4 with a single for the captain. Talk about fuckery. Here we go. Trunk with the RBI shot. Good ball in the dirt. Ball one. Chase the fastball high. Will it get out of reach? No. Bigsby makes a nice diving play in foul territory despite the poor fielding to make the catch. And that means we got to go to the bullpen here. We are going to go with long reliever Bradley Bowler, who is well rested as he is not pinched since opening day. Bottom eight. We're down two. It's five to three. Rufo, Bolter, and Gobbleson do up. Rufo two for three today. He's homered and singled. Bowler coming out of the bullpen for his second appearance on the air. Bradley pitched on opening day, taking the loss when he went three innings. Gave up one earned run, which ended up being the decider in a two-to-one loss. Or was it? No, it was a one-nothing loss. That's right. I'm thinking of the wrong game. Three ERA and a one whip for Bradley. Three hits surrendered, and he struck out two batters in that appearance. Batting average against 273. First pitch fastball down in the way. Swung through at 0-1. Zimmer up and in. That's high. 101. Change it down and in. Chopper to short. Second. That's a tough play. Cardenas bare hands and fires. In time. One down. That was almost an infield hit. One down, and that'll bring up Bolter, who's one for two with a single. Fighter down. Fouled off. 0 and 1. Fastball down the middle. Grounded a third. Right at Mustachio. Easy play. Two down. Next up is Gobbleson, 0 for 3, and tense after the fielding error. First pitch, change at the knees, low, ball one. Two seamer in middle in, swung through it, one and one. Last ball up and away, driven by Gobbleson to left center field. Swiner going over in the gap, runs it down, and that's a 1 2 3 inning for Bowler in the eighth. To the ninth, we're down two still. We're, sorry, we're up two still. As we look to add some insurance, Mustachio, Colt, and Fielder do up against Bergerer. Uh. Leading off the inning, Mario Mustachio. He's locked in three for four today with two homers, a single, and four of our five RBIs today. Very good day for Mario. Rear on bomb last time at the plate off Neverwalker. Fastball high, ball one. So that landed in the Buzzards' bullpen. Change about side, a strike from Berger, 1-1. One one. Coincidentally, Mustachio has hit a home run in each of the bullpens today. Let's see if he can go for one to right field here. Her ball away, outside, 2-1. and one. Chase the fastball high, 2-2. Two and two. Curve bump down and in, turned on by Mustachio to the shallow wall and right, but it dies in the warning track to Slam's glove, one down. Next up is Colt, he's 2-4, for four and he is tense right now. Change up inside, ball one. Change up down, rip foul, one and one. Pass ball up and in, grounded the third, backhanded by Bash, easy stop, two down. Got to bring up Fielder, Ian two for four today with two singles. Change up outside, ball one. Pass ball up and away, swung through it, one and one. Uh, change up down and then breaks his bat as Gobbleson makes the play to first, and that ends the inning. 1-2-3 for Berger as we head to the bottom of the ninth. We're up 2. 5-3 the score. Rags, pinch hitter, and Sosa do up. Rags 0 for 3 today to lead off the inning here at second base as Bowler's going to go for the two-inning save out of the bullpen. First pitch two-seamer down and in. Fouled off. Will that stay in play for Hart? No, it won't. It's just off the screen, 0-1. Fastball up and in. High, 1-1. Slider middle of the way. Fouled off by Rags. One and two the count. Change it down in the way. Chop to the mound. Bowler there for it. One down. Berger will do it next. That's a pinch hitter coming. And it is left fielder, former Crocodons player, Bubba Blastman in his first year with the Heaters. No hits on the air for Blastman, but he has outside pitch active. 
Thankfully, no one's in scoring position, so no RBI man at least. Fastball down the middle, swung through it on one. Slider middle in, ripped hard to first, trunk dives, knocks it down, clips the bowler in time. Two down, nice play, guys. And that will bring up Sosa as the last chance. Rookie is single twice today. He is two for four. First pitch two seamer down in the way is low, ball one. Fastball up and in, popped up, foul territory on the left side, out of reach. One and one the count. Change it down and in, chop foul, one and two. Slider up and away, fouled off, still one and two. Two seamer down in the way, in the dirt, two and two. Slider up and in, rip foul, so alive, still two and two. Bowler looking for the put away pitch, fastball high, taken full count. Change it down and in. Inside, ball four. And Bowler works, gives up the walk, and that brings the tying run to the plate. It is Helena Bigsby who has homer today. She is three for four with a solo shot and two are singles. First is fastball down in the way. Strike call, 0 and 1. Two seamer down and in. Bigsby chops it up the middle. Fielder charges, fields it, and fires in time to first, and that ends the inning as the Buzzards win 5 to 3. Bowler slams the door for his first save of the year uh, through two innings of work. Good play all around from the guys. Big day for Mario Mustachio as he drives in four of our runs on two homers. As he'll more than likely be player of the game. But a lot of hits, not a lot of runs for either club, unfortunately. Double digits for both. Five or less runs, though. So both offenses struggled with converting runners and scoring position chances. Uh, four hit day for Demi Cardenas at the top of the lineup. Mustachio a three hit day, two of them home runs, driving in four runs. Cardenas drove in the other one on a single. Hitless today for us were Borgner, the pinch hitter Mahoney, Hokey, uh, and also that's it actually. Okay. Uh, two hits also for Colt, two hits for Fielder and Hart, and three hits for Buck Swiner as well. Only one hit for Joseph Trunk. On the heater side, hitless today, Bobby Bash in the cleanup slot, Gobbleson rags the pitcher slots, and the pinch hitter Smoke and Blastman. Solo home run for Helena Bigsby and a solo home run for Ray's Rufo, and then also an RBI single for Slam there in the eighth inning off of our seventh inning off of Butters. That's how they got their runs. Jude Hokey gets the win, six innings, seven hits, two run runs, six strikeouts, two home runs given up. He improves to one and zero on the quality start. Butters, the rookie, throws the seventh inning, giving up three hits, one earned run, and a strikeout. Uh, Bowler gets the two innings save as he gives up only a walk in his two innings of work, his first save of the year. On the other side, Slayer, five innings, plus ten hits, two earned runs, two strikeouts, and a home run given up. Loss goes to Dern Everwalker as he goes two innings in relief, six hits, three earned runs given up on a home run, and one strikeout. He falls to one and one. And Berger, two scoreless innings out of the bullpen behind Neverwalker with two hits given up. Player of the game is Mario Mustachio with the two homer day and four RBIs along with a stolen base. Following him is Helena Bixby, who went 3 for 5 with a solo homer, and Cardenas, the 4 for 5 day, driving in a run. Also scoring once. Not bad at all. Love to see it. Oh, with that win, we are back above 500, and we are now 3 and 2 on the season. Which means we are in a four way tie for first place in the division. You love to see it. Right now, as it stands, we actually hold the division lead as we have the best run differential of the four tied teams. Let's take a look around the league at what happened. Butters, plus four power. He's a pitcher. Upgrade his pitching stats, goddammit. Jemmy Yago is released by the Sandcats as they bring in former Grappler's long reliever, Lola Nops. Eh, a pretty decent upgrade there. I would do that. All right, let's look at... Well, let's sim up to the next game here, and then we'll do player developments. see what we got here. Crocodons looking for their first win and they will get it as they defeat the Wild Loads 6-1 in the battle of last place teams. Freebitters win in 12 innings over the Wild Pigs taking the division lead 3-2 the final. Surlings then beat the Hot Corners in a pitcher's duel 3-1. Blowfish finally get their first win of the year as they defeat the Sawtooth 4-1. Herbisaur shut out the Moose 5-0. Jack's looking to take the division lead, and they will as they shut out the Grapplers in a slaughter, 15 to nothing. Platypie then beat the Heaters, 3-2, as that's a two-game losing streak now for the Heaters. 
Nemesis defeat the Crocs in the Pitcher's Duel 3-2. And the final game of the simulation, the Hot Corners beat up on the Sandcats 10-4. Freebooters currently hold the division lead over there in the Beast Division. Half game lead over the Hot Corners at 4-2. Sandcats still hold the division lead despite the loss as they are ahead of the Moonstars and Serlins by a half game at 4-2. Heaters still lead the division despite losing two games in a row here in the simulation and the episode all told. But the Platypi are now nipping at their heels, only a half game back. Jax and Nemesis both win as they are now tied for the division lead at 4 and 2. We sit in third spot tied with the Overdogs and we will also play have the Crocodons get their first win, but they are in last place at 1 and 5. Hey, 4 and 1, you dang right. Let's go. All right, next episode is going to be a double header here against the Overdogs. The first pitching matchup is going to be uh, Japani versus Caps. Fran 1-0 with a 540 ERA and a 180 whip, and she is fully healed from the injuries she suffered in that game, so you'd love to see that. And Jerry Capps, the veteran on the hill, second year with the Overdogs, 1-0 with a 257 ERA and a 114 whip. And the pitching matchup for the second game, if we take a look at that, is going to be rookie Manuel East for us against Chasey Kim, the third-year vet for the Overdogs. Okay, we'll make do with that. All righty, let's look at player developments here. All right, so Ruby Green, bench player. I don't want to spend money on her if I don't have to, although that is a good chance to get contact with his right-hander. Pitching mechanics for Greenman, he doesn't really need them, honestly. He's pretty well off right now, and that's a little expensive for that, so we're probably going to pass. Clark, we're not looking to hold on to her. I want to get rid of her actually as soon as possible, so not going to buy anything for her. Mahoney, this one will be here next time. No need to worry about it. It's a nice upgrade for his contact. Uh, Buck does not need more arm. That's a dumb upgrade. And Hart, he doesn't need Whiffer, despite those being two traits he needs to upgrade. All told, the best one here is the one for Green, so we'll get that, and then we'll still have enough to get this for Mahoney next time anyway. So that's what we'll do. We'll do this one for Green. Upgrade her speed, fielding, and arm here. So we'll get the five speed. Nice big roll there. 58 gets the big fielding upgrade as well, up to 23. I love it. One arm to 52. Does not get contact for his right-hander, though, which would have been a nice big three-roll three sweep. Would have been nice, but hey, I'll take what I got. Love to see it. All right, let's see. What is Samuel Perez at right now? He's at, what, 4-1? Uh, what's Clark at? She's at 3. She's also at 4-1. Okay, perfect. I'll take him now. We don't lose any money in this move, and he's actually due to start next episode because Hart is actually going to be tired, so yay, this is going to work. I love it. Come on, Perez, get in here. Plus, he's like seven years younger, so good backup catcher to have there. Perez is a good power bat off the bench as well, so he's a viable pinch hitter option as well. Fielding, he's no slouch either. He just can't throw anybody out. <laughs> All right, let's set the lineup here for game one of the doubleheader. Alrighty, leading off, it is going to be Cardenas at second, still locked in. Hart up to the two-slot catching. I'll let it slide because he's not tense. Um, batting third is the first baseman, Joseph Trunk. And then batting fourth, locked in, is the third baseman, Mustachio. Fielder about to the five-slot at shortstop. Colt drops down to the six-slot in center, and he is still tense. Swiner stays in left field. He'll bat seventh, and coming off the bench is Carter Mahoney for his first start of the season in right field. He'll bat eighth. And Japani will round us out number nine. And that is the lineup for game one of the doubleheader next episode. Alrighty, that will do it for this episode, guys. A nice win here against the undefeated Heaters as we hand them their first loss, 5-3. to three. Big offensive day for Mario Mustachio. He clobbers two home runs as he takes the team lead and ties the team lead for home runs as well with this game. Drove in four of our five runs to win. Uh, let's see if we can keep that momentum going as we look to catch the division leaders in the doubleheader against the Overdogs next episode. If you made it this deep in the video, guys, thank you so much for all the support. Love to see it. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe, leave a like, and drop the comment down below. Until next time, this is The Nasty One, signing off.